Hey everyone, welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup. Today we have some serious news to discuss involving Chicago rapper Lil Zay Osama. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Now, let's dive right into the story. Lil Zay Osama, whose real name is Isaiah Dukes, has officially pleaded guilty to a serious gun charge in a Brooklyn, New York courtroom. This news has taken the hip-hop community by storm, and today we'll break down the key points of this case. Point number one, the plea. On May 30th, Lil Zay Osama admitted to possessing a machine gun in Queens County. He said, I knowingly possessed a firearm that was a machine gun in Queens County on September 29th, 2022. I know that it was wrong and against the law. This plea could lead to a sentence of up to 10 years in prison. Point number two, the weapon. The firearm in question was a .40 caliber Glock pistol modified with a switch to turn it into a fully automatic weapon. This is not just a minor charge. Possessing such a weapon carries heavy legal consequences, especially in federal court. Point number three, the arrest details. According to arrest records, Lil Zay Osama was charged with multiple felonies, including possession of a loaded machine gun, theft of stolen goods, and possession of a firearm with a defaced serial number. These charges came after an incident in Oak Brook, Illinois, involving a police chase and suspicious activity linked to an armed robbery at a New York jewelry store. The chase led to the discovery of two loaded Glock pistols in a vehicle with extended magazines and defaced serial numbers. A $90,000 necklace from the alleged New York robbery was also found, raising further questions about the rapper's involvement in the crime. With the sentencing scheduled for next month, Lil Zay Osama's future hangs in the balance. He could face significant federal prison time, marking a major turning point in his career and life. This case highlights the serious legal repercussions of illegal firearm possession and involvement in criminal activities. We'll keep you updated as more details emerge. Let us know in the comments what you think about this case and the impact it might have on the hip hop community. Thanks for watching and remember to like, share and subscribe for more exclusive content from the Red Carpet Reup. Stay safe and stay informed.